Okay, in this video, we're going to go over the digital recorder. Uh, typically, people will purchase this when they want to record themselves singing, karaoke host, and then also whether or not they want to uh, play digital music. So if they store music on to thumb drives and so forth, they can easily switch from each deck, whether it's a USB or an SD card. In this case, what we're going to do, we're on channel A right now and we're going to go ahead and put the thumb drive in and what it will do is it basically recognizes the drive and then what we'll want to do is we're going to record a song and so forth so right now it's recognizing the USB so then I want to record one of the things you want to note about this recorder is you want to press the buttons very gently it will it will react to it but if you press them hard it's not so right now it's showing that it's setting it up for recording so it's saying that it's ready so what I want to do is I want to start recording and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and press play on my so right now it's basically recording it and then when I'm done press record again and then what it will do is it will actually basically it's setting it up it's finalizing the recording and so forth and once that's set up you're going to be able to listen to the listen to the recording while we're waiting for this I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to channel B I have another drive in here that's just regular music. Oh my gosh. You can just play whatever music. Maybe I mean you can forward. I did it again, so I'm gonna You can even delete different songs and so forth. Oh my, baby, let me love you down. And like I said, as long as you're on channel B, you switch over, you're able to play this part. There's so many ways to love ya. Going back over to channel A. Right now, I'm not sure why it's not finalizing. Uh, let's do this. Um, stop. Resend. That's one of the first things it will do. And then it will, it will go ahead and make sure that it finalizes and so forth. I think what I did was I actually hit to record to stop the recording and so forth when I should have hit stop. So what this did is it now it, it labeled it. So then I could go ahead and actually play it back. As you're playing it back, you may want to turn the system up louder because the recording's a little bit lower. But at this point, it seems fine. So we recorded what we did. And that's pretty much it for the recording. I know there's a little bit more as far as features but we're just going over uh, the simplicity of it and so forth. That's pretty much it.